Hey guys, today we're going to do a fat pack of Zendikar for Bobby. I haven't really looked at the Patreon, but I feel like it was just Bobby <laughs> and then Dan. And Dan chose a very interesting option, which I'll get to a little later. But this is for Bobby, and we we pull something good. The set has value, but the value is in the... Uh, I mean, the fat pack has value. The set actually has very limited value outside the expeditions. But the value of this particular set of the actual packs uh, of a fat pack is in the land. So at least you're guaranteed your land, right? 80 land. Uh, again, right now it might seem kind of ridiculous that, oh, why is MTG Lion saying that land are valuable when Every single land I've ever opened is a full art land. Well, in time, <coughs> in time. So let's go ahead and let's open and see what we got for Bobby. Hopefully something good. Like, you definitely need to pull like well. Uh, pull extremely well in this particular set to make your money back. But it helps when you have a pack of land, which, you know, it's a pack of land. Love this card in Limited. Flight it, Hellkite, Hellkite, so we got a Hellkite. So at the worst you can do is 89 for our lands, which isn't, you know, terrible, right? Also, if you can keep these sealed, I would definitely recommend keeping them sealed. Uh, that's probably the way to go. This card I see a lot of magic online. I'm not this card's pretty good. Gruesome Slaughter, uh not you know the best start for a fat pack ever. But worse you can do. So buying fat pack for like if you can get it at Walmart for like forty dollars in tax. Like forty five bucks, still pretty much worth it for just the eighty nine land and then it has the upside. Oh yeah, this card I don't dislike. I, I do feel like the reprint has hurt it tremendously, but it used to be an extremely valuable card. Okay, four packs down. Apparently foil dispel is worth a lot of money, <laughs> comparatively speaking. And Zeta, so this is not the greatest fat pack so far. But we'll see what the other five packs will hold. No mythic so far, so we're probably gonna get one mythic. No foils, no mythics. The card, this card, I felt like would see more play, and it still might. I think it's a very, very good card. Blighted herder. That's what we need. We need to get a blighted herder herder, because that's a it's not current okay, so we got a mythic. Uh very disappointing mythic, but could it come back in control? Yes. And we got a foil. It's blue. Huh. Let's see. Conver okay, it's a converge card. That's all I need to know. The blue foils look really good in the set. I think I've pulled most of them. Oh, it's the same one. I feel like this one does not have a foil. Rolling Thunder, Titan's Presence. Another Drazi. We have two packs left, and we need like a miracle. Okay. Wow. When at release, this would have been okay. I mean, it wouldn't have like made you money, but it would have been okay. Right now, prices are just absolutely another Adrazi card. Prices are just pretty brutal right now for some of these cards. And no, a foil land would be good. <laughs> Endless one. Wow. Um. Ooh, that's a head scratcher. And 
yeah, so that is your fat pack, Bobby. I'll make sure, well, and you can also raffle and win some stuff. So uh, hopefully you do a little better in that part of the uh, segment. But anyway, bye guys.